this visit to the Nelson Mandela Metro. Both the ANC and the DA are confident of winning the Metro outright, but should this not happen, it's likely that smaller parties will find themselves as kingmakers when talks of coalitions begin. The Freedom Front currently doesn't have any seats in the Metro's 120-member council. Touching base with supporters. This area is traditionally conservative with strong support for the Freedom Front. Many of the people of Utenag and Dispatch feel they are the neglected sector of the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. Yeah, we are totally sidelined from the rest of the metro. If you just look at the service that's been rendered here, there's actually no service rendered in Dispatch. Uh, I believe the, uh, the Freedom Front can uh, change uh, my life for the better because they believe in uh, people's uh, uh, beliefs and what people stand for. So I think uh, for myself, they can change my life for the better. The Freedom Front is confident of securing a number of seats in the metro. Mulder believes coalitions are key. Surely in the past we were successful with coalitions, working with the DA, with the ACDP in Cape Town, and I think we can repeat it here. So people can vote for the Freedom Front and still be part of a coalition that governs. The Freedom Front will now take its campaign to Cape Town and the North West. Janine Lee, SABC News, Dispatch.